How Grandmother Spider Brought Fire, a Choctaw Origin Story by Angela McAllister. Editor's Note. The following text is an adaptation of a story from Choctaw mythology. The Choctaw are a Native American people. Their traditional lands are in the southeastern United States. The following Choctaw myth is an origin story. It tells the story of what made the sun, moon, and stars that we see in the sky. This adaptation appears in the children's anthology, A Year Full of Stories, by Angela McAllister. When the earth was first made, there was no sun or moon in the sky, not even a star. The world was cold and dark. Life was hard for the birds and animals and people. One day, Raven called everyone to a great gathering. I have heard there is something called fire on the other side of the world, he said. It makes light and heat. What is light and heat? asked Fox. I don't know, said Raven, but if they have it on the other side of the world, then we should have it too. Perhaps we can share some of this fire, Fox suggested, and the others agreed. But who would fetch it? I'm a great hunter, said Possum. I'll find the fire and bring some back in my thick, bushy tail. So the gathering agreed that Possum should go. Possum journeyed to the other side of the world and found the bright fire. He put a tiny piece under his tail and set off for home. But the little flame grew. It quickly burnt all the hair on his tail, and then it went out. Possum returned to the gathering without any fire, and, to this day, all possums have bare tails. Let me try, said Buzzard. I will be swift on my great wings. Buzzard's, Buzzard flew to the other side of the world and found the bright fire. He put a small piece among his head feathers to carry it home. But soon, he smelt smoke. Flames burnt off his head feathers, and then they went out. Buzzard returned to the gathering without any fire, and, to this day, all buzzards have bald red heads. Then a tiny voice spoke from the back of the gathering. Let me fetch the fire. It was Grandmother Spider. Do you think you can succeed when Possum and Buzzard have failed? asked Raven. Yes, said Grandmother Spider. I may be small, but I have many skills. So the gathering agreed that she should try. First, Grandmother Spider went down to the river and found some clay, which she shaped into a pot with a well-fitting lid. Next, she took a thorn and made a small hole in the lid. Then she put the pot on her back and fixed it with a thread. When everything was ready, she spun a web all the way to the other side of the world. The bright fire was easy to find. Grandmother Spider put a tiny piece inside the pot and closed the lid tight. Then she followed her way back along the web to the gathering. Nobody noticed that Grandmother Spider had returned, for the light of the fire was hidden in the pot. But when she took off the lid, the fire blazed. Everyone at the gathering was amazed. For the first time, they saw each other and felt warmth on their fur and feathers and skin. Who shall look after this precious fire, asked Raven. The animals shook their heads, for they had seen Possum's burnt tail. The birds shook their heads, for they had seen Buzzard's burnt head. But the people stepped forward. We'll take care of it, they said. So Grandmother Spider taught the people how to feed the fire to keep it alive, and how to circle it with stones to keep it safe. Then she spun a web high up into the sky and threw sparks from her pot to make the sun and the moon and the stars. So there, were, there was light and warmth for all the world. Here are the comprehension questions. Number one, which answer choice is a summary of the events in this story? A. The world was cold and dark after it was first made. The birds, animals, and people needed fire to give them light and heat. B. Possum and Buzzard tried to get fired from the other side of the world. The fire burned Possum's tail and Buzzard's head. C. 
The birds and animals tried to figure out a way to get fire. The people then learned how to take care of the fire after they had it. D. Grandmother Spider found a way to get fire so the world could have light and heat. She then used it to make the sun, moon, and stars. Number two. What is the main message of this story? A. It is all right to give up if you fail to meet a goal. C B. Offer to help only if you can bring about change. C. Sometimes the littlest one can make the biggest difference. D. It is important to work together to build a community. Number three. What problem do the birds, animals, and people have in the story? A. They have trouble getting along with one another. B. They do not know where to look to find fire. C. They are scared of going to the other side of the world. D. They do not have light or anything to keep them warm. Number four. Grandmother Smider is smart because A. She tricks Possum and Buzzard into burning their fur and feathers. B. She figures out how to carry fire back without getting burned. C. She asks the people to take care of the fire for the animals and birds. D. She helps Raven find the fire on the other side of the world.